Okay, good morning class. It's May, it's near the end of the year, and we're going to do a review chapter on exponents and logs. Is my head cut out of there? No, you're good. Are you sure? Is there enough room? Okay, good. Yeah, don't want to be too cap. So, um, let's just jump right into it. Your test is Tuesday, so you have three days to review. Are you optimistic? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> Did you guys plan to do that together? <laughs> Why'd you put your hand here? Do like this, like it's a megaphone? What does that even mean? Mommy loves you. Because it's Mother's Day. <laughs> I was looking at that Mother Day. Oh, it's a Mother Day thing? Okay. Yeah. There's a poster that says Mommy loves you. All right, let's do this. Y equals one half over X. Woo! Let's solve this. Indeed, this is an exponential graph because X is an exponent. We can plug in some numbers. How about 0, 1, 2, negative 1, negative 2. When X is 0, what's Y? Um, oh, one. One. one, right. Anything to the zero is one. One half to the first half. power is one. still one half. One half to the second power, one, one fourth. fourth. One, one half times one half is one fourth. Now one half to the negative first. Two. two. Very good. One half to the negative one is the same as two over one to the positive one. These flip and the exponent changes, so that's two. And conversely, when this becomes negative two, this four. becomes two, so that's four. Very good. We graph these. So zero, one goes here. One, one half goes here. Two, one fourth goes here. Uh, negative one, two, two, four. Okay. So this has a slope. Goes down. It's exponential graph. That's yes, decreasing. Please. It's true that it's never gonna hit that. that it's not. Correct. It'll never hit this. It'll never hit y equals zero. Because even if we did a huge value like negative 5, that would be 1 over 32, or excuse me, not negative 5, 5. If we did 5, that would be 32, 1 over 32. 5 would be 1 over 32, that would be really, really, really close, but never touching. Does this graph have growth or decay? Decay. Decay, right? And what's the domain? All real X is all real numbers. X is all real numbers. X could be any number you wanted. You could put any... Any real number in that. And what's the range? Y is greater than zero. As you pointed out, Y can't be zero. It's only going to be greater than zero. Okay, cool. Let's do this next one. What's cool, I'm going to like edit the writing, erasing and writing out. So it'll be like fade in, fade out. Be cool. Like, James Cameron or something. All right, so uh, what do we do in this type of problem? Same base. Same base. What's that base going to be? Three. Three. So this is one over three to the? Third. 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 Which is really three to the? Negative. negative third to the two minus x. What do you do when you have powers to powers? Multiply. Multiply them. So I'm going to bring it over. That becomes three to the negative six. Plus. Plus. 3x equals, what's this? It's going to be 3 to the power of 2 to the x, right? 9 is written as 3 to the power of 2 to the x. And so that becomes 3 to the 2x. Powers to powers, we multiply. And so now, can we drop the bases? Yes, yeah. yes. Yes. 3 to this equals 3 to that. These can go. So we're left with negative 6 plus 3x equals 2x. Minus 3x on both sides, and we get negative x, negative 6, x equals 6. Now we can Whoa. check this in the calculator as well by plugging in 6 here and 6 here and seeing if these two numbers are the same. So for 1 over 27 to the negative 4 will be the same as 9 to the 6 in your calculator. Okay, questions on that? Okay, on where do you keep? Yeah, please. Just keep the right side. Keep the right side, indeed. Happy. Thank you for asking. Can you so, get a tad slower? Yeah, sure. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. I just yeah. want to make sure I cross this one. You got it. You got it. Three and yeah, minus two. Oh. Okay. Is the pro is the situation the same here? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Same situation. Two. What would you like the base to be? Two. Can the base be four? Yeah. No, no. No, can't. Good job. Base can't be four. Yeah. Good, good. You got it. So this is a base of two and two. 
Two to the what is 64? Two to the eight. 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 Two, would be a to the two, right, right. Oh, and then we could interpret. Eight, eight, eight. Then can we just make it? Yeah, oh, we could do eight. eight. Yeah. We could do eight. Okay. We could do eight. Uh, let's make it eight. Oh, no. I'm going to make it eight because it's easier. Eight squared and plus two equals eight, three, and minus two. Cool. So base is eight. It's nice if you can pick larger bases. It makes the numbers easier. Distribute, this becomes, so now the bases can drop. 2n plus 2. 2n plus 2 equals 3n minus 2. And then add 2. And then uh, subtract 3n. 3n. Oops. No, other way around. Other way around. Is it? So it'll be 4 equals n. Yeah, 4 equals n. Okay, so that n equals 4. We'll leave that. So we'll go in like uh, stages like this. Okay. Next problem. Logs to exponents and exponents to logs. Log base 9 of 1 third. So, a log produces what value over x. here? X. X, right? And what is that x? It's the exponent. It's the base. exponent, right. Oh, x, exponent. So what we have talked about is this produces an exponent, which is e. You could even say, for example, log of a base, log having a certain base of a number equals an exponent. And thus that would be b to the e equals n. So what would be the base in this case? Nine. Nine. What would be the exponent? E. e. And what would be the number? One third. One third. And now we're back to this type of problem in which we're trying to create the same base. Okay. So what would that base be? Three. It would be three, and so this would be three squared, that's right. So, let's put this over here. It's over here. Can we start with Yes, please. It's kind of hard for me to visualize like, what to do at that point. Because yes, it's, it's the same type of problem as this, same base. Yeah, I, I, I see what we need to do, but like, when I see a fraction. Right, fractions have negative exponents. That's the thing to think about. Fractions have negative so exponents. Wants to, that's one so it could just be negative one? Negative exponent. Yeah, the exponent would be negative one, correct. Down here, it's positive one. I'm happy you're asking. Down here, it's positive one. So upstairs would be three to the what? Negative one. Negative one. A review on the negative exponent rule? That would be? x to the negative 2 equals everyone? 1 over, one over, one over x, x to the positive 2. And so you can make the x whatever you want it to be. Like 3 to the negative 2 equals 1 over 3 squared. So that works with that. So, and then we're over here, 3 squared to the e. So now we have 2e equals negative 1, e equals negative 1 half. So the answer is negative 1 half. Okay, questions on turning logs to exponents. We're about to do it one more time. Log to an exponent now. Can you read it out to me? Log of? Log of 81. Log base 81? Base 81. Of 9. 9. Cool. Okay, turning into an exponent. 81. 81 to the x. To the x. Equals 9. Equals 9. Okay. Yes? Cool. Okay, so it become 9 squared. Okay, 9 squared to the x. Right. The goal is to try to create the same base. What's the exponent here? One. One. Very good. So now that the bases are the same, what can we do with them? Put Take them equal up. to each other. Take them up. Put what oh, equal to each the other? Exponent. The exponents. Right. Good. 2x equals 1. x equals 1 half. Answer? 1 half. 
So that's the idea on this section. The second section of our chapter is turning logs to exponents. Maybe one more quick review on the log thing question. Yeah, the please. Log exponent. Yeah. So if I had 81 to the 1 half, it equal 9, but I know. Okay. 81 to the 1 half. Do you remember the rule that the fraction, the denominator of the, ex, of the exponent, becomes the power of the radical? And which this would become the square root of 81. Which is, the, okay. which is really 9. Mr. Yes, please. Another way to check your answer, you could just do, um, if you do log of 81x equals log 9, and you could put the x. Oh, yeah, you can log both sides. No, right, we're going to do that later as a way to check. That's cool. If you log both sides, you can bring x to the front and then divide both sides by log 81. That's good. So we have ne <laughs> Ooh. another negative exponent problem coming up. Log base. 1 over 3 x is equal to 1. Negative 1. Just kidding. It's OK. I get the joke. <laughs> so what is this as an exponent? Again. One. Everyone, do it. Uh, one third to the negative one equals x. So negative exponent rule means three, three to the one. Yes, equals x. So x equals three. One third to the negative one equals three. Okay. Hey, next problem. One plus three. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> <laughs> You're immortalized. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> Shout out, yay man. <laughs> oh yeah, you want to say it? Say it for him. Say what? Yay man. Yay man. Yay man. Yeah, it didn't sound very yay. Yay. Uh, it was staggered. <laughs> staggered. Uh, okay. This one trips some students up sometimes, but will it trip you up? No. 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 Oh, I am. The visual. Very important. Yes. yes. So equals x, right? So 20 to the x equals 1. X equals 0. X equals 0. Since when did this face become I'm impressed? <laughs> like, why can't it be like, that would make more sense to me. <laughs> it's like, it's a frown. Why? why would that be a good thing? 